Hello and welcome to my new Let's Play, which is The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. And in this Let's Play, I'm using another emulator. This time, I'm using a third party controller to help me to more on it. This is, just makes the gameplay feel more real and probably a lot more easier to control as well. So let's begin. We'll be using the Scientium data as stuff. In the vast, deep forest of Hyrule, long have I served as the guardian spirit. I am known as the Deku Tree. The children of the forest, the Kokiri, live here with me. Each Kokiri has his or her own guardian fairy. However, there is one boy who does not have a fairy. <laughs> ah. Hey, it's us! I wonder who that princess is. Is that a princess? Huh? Who the hell are you? What are you doing? Leave me alone! Navi the fairy, listen to my words, the words of the Deco Tree. Thus thou sense it, climate of evil descending upon this realm. The living forces, even now, are mastering to attack our land of Hyrule. So long, Luri, the Kikuri forest, source of life has stood as a barrier to tearing outsiders from maintaining the order of the world. But before this tremendous evil power, even my power is at the It seems the time has come for the boy of our fairy to begin his journey. The youth who destiny it is to lead our road to the child justice and truth. Navi, go now. Find our young friend and guide him to me. I do not have much time. Why, Navi, why? Fate of the forest. Forest. Nay, the world depends. Yeah. Oh, those textures <laughs> just Disappearing like that. Oh, now me? That was a bit rude. Hello. Hello there. Hey. Well, uh, that's questionable. Trying to find a way, huh? Haha, <laughs> that must have hurt. Or fair, anyways. Hey Navi, don't go into someone's house without asking. Wow, why do you need to be so rude? Hello. Hello, how are you TM? Wake up. The great decoratory wants to talk to you. Harry TM, get up! <laughs> how do you say I'm having a nightmare? Hey, come on! Can Haru's destiny really depend on such a lazy boy? But, I was having a nightmare. Why are you wake me up? Oh, that's a good thing actually. What am I saying? Ugh. Sorry, I'm just a bit tired. You finally woke up. I'm Navi the Fairy. The Great Deco Tree asked me to be a partner from now on. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. The 
great deco tree has summoned you, so let's get going right now. Oh really? I get summoned by the great deco tree? I better go straight away. Let's leave this place. Who's that? I can't remember. Yoohoo! Hi, Harry Kim! Okay, I'm coming! Green haired person who I can't remember your name. I think it's Zarya. Oh, look! The drawing I draw. Drew, like, went outside. Well, I just such a creative drawer when I was that guy. Age. That feels so great. How about that wings? Oh. Hey, Zarya! Wow, a fairy! Finally, a fairy's come to you, RATM. Well, wow, let's train you. I'm so happy for you. Now you're a true curry, RATM. Is that right? This great Deku Tree has summoned you? It's quite an honor to talk to the great Deku Tree. I'll be waiting for you here. Get going, go see the great Deku Tree. Okay, let's go. Uh, what is it again? Uh, that's Oscar. Hey. Shut up. Don't care. I trash. The great Deku Tree has summoned you. Please come with me. You're not guiding me at all. You're just there. <laughs> the Mini Mido has made me cut the grass at Zarya's house. Mido you know, told Zarya he would do it, so he, so she would like him. But. I'm the one doing all the work. You and Sari are close friends, so you will yeah. So will you help me cut down the grass? I'll let you keep anything that you find while coming. Thanks, dude, but I don't have anything to cut it with. Let's go this way and see what's over right here. Hello. You must be the great me dude that everyone saw. Sound like it's such a joke. Hey, you, Mr. No Fairy, what's your business with the Great Deco Tree? Without a fairy, you're not even a real man. What? You've got a fairy? Say what? The Great Deco Tree actually summoned you? Yeah, why would he summon you? What? Why would he summon you and not the Great Nido? This isn't funny. I don't believe it. You ain't even fully equipped yet. How do you think you're going to help the great Decatry without both a sword and a shield ready? What will the... Uh, what? You're... What? You're right. I don't have my equips yet, but... If you want to pass through here, you should at least equip a sword and a shield. Sheesh. And if you talk to him again, he'll just say the last two lines again and again. So don't bother. Let's go up to Saria's house and just see what's around. And then after we've gone to Saria's house, I mean, after we've gone up here, whoops, got him. All the way here, like that, and pick this one. Whoops! Hehe, <laughs> you came all the way here. You're a real man. Look, is this yeah. is this a pretty view? Change your view from when you're up, and so you can look around far. Well, I can't now. You pushed me off. Why do you need to be so rude? Let's see what this person's got to say. Oh, a fairy finally came to you. Now you. You have a lot to learn. The best place to learn some new skills is in the Flowers Training Center. It's on the hill just above here. Oh, cool. Hey, there's a new person right here. I wonder who's house it is. Speak. A by the stone, pick it up. A by the stone, pick it up. Mino, Mito, he made me pick up the rocks in front of his house. Wow. He is such a jerk around here. And, sir, 
Please stop what you're doing. It, it looks very questionable. Please. Just, just stop. Please? Uh. Oh, you have a fairy now. That's great, Haritian. What? You've been called by the great Dicker Tree? What an honor! He gave you... He may give you a special gift. Tee <laughs> That's because the great secretary is our father, Forest Guardian, and he's giving the lot to all us to work. Really? That tree? Wow. I wonder who our mother is. Let's start going into these houses and see if you know if anything. Hello? Anyone here? Hello? Oh. Hello? My sister took some rupees and went to shopping at the store that has a red roof. <laughs> Speaking of rupees, a green one is worth one, a blue one is worth five, and a red one is worth twenty. <laughs> Thanks for telling me that really useful information. Red, that is actually just... That's the only reason I actually wanted to know to show you off that. So I wouldn't have to say it myself. And in Sora's house, it's a bunch of hearts! Yay! Oops, doesn't matter. They respawn when you walk back in. So if you ever need healing, just walk to Sora's house. Let's actually go talk to Sora right now. Hey, Sora! What? Nido won't let you go to see the great Disco tree? Ah, oh, that bum! I don't know why he's so mean to everyone. I know, right? Uh, uh, what he said is true, though. Far as strange... Far as strange things have been happening here lately. You need to be ready for anything. You better find a weapon. You can buy a shield at the store, but there's only one sword hidden somewhere in the forest. Okay, I better go look at it. Wait, what's this? Oh, that's green bunch of berries. I thought I saw in a drawing that I didn't notice before. I was like, oh, it's something I never noticed before. Have a look. Anyways, what's in here? Oh yeah, this is Mido's house. That's Ludi's house! Take everything! Ah, oh, damn it, I just scrapped the recovery card. That's useless. I got one rupee! Yeah, I got a rupee. I got five rupees right there. And another five rupees. And if I remember correctly, the shield costs about 40 rupees. Let's go in here and see who we need. Hey, dude. I can teach you about the icon on the top screen. Not the yellow icons? Blue icons? I don't really want to. Oh, damn it, I missed a purple. The three yellow icons up there, right, are called C icons. They display the things that you can use with the blah 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 buttons. Once you get the C item put it into your section, Oh yeah, these are just a bunch of tutorial people, so I can't be bothered just to draw them because they're tutorial people. I can teach you that myself. Now I took a shortcut to this very uh, cool. Uh, let's speak to you after I get this one because it's from this way. Look at that place. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why I said it. Another rupee, that'll come in handy. And, um, let's go this way. Ah, done. Okay, let's look. The best chance of not getting hit by that rock, which I think would do more damage, is to just keep an eye on it and then follow it. 
So let's find out what's in this chest. We got both sword! And then, yes, and you got the Kakuri sword, and then stuff that comes up every time, and then... This is a hidden treasure of the Kakuri, but you can borrow it for a while. Be sure to practice with it before you are ready to fight. Before you really fight. I don't know why I keep on messing up words. Oh. oh, damn it, I didn't check. It's okay. I can win. Yes, I win. Ah. Let's see what this does. I never actually checked. Sorry, I, I, it's not really that interesting. So, this, it can be a little bit inconsistent, but so, for some reason, I don't know why. I think that's the Let's talk to this guy, he teaches us some interesting things. Hey, let's work on some moves. To jump sideways while pressing the target, press A as you move left or right. To do a backflip, press Z in the while pressing Z, press A while moving backwards. To do a roll attack while pressing Z, press A. As you move forward while rolling, you can avoid damage. If you have a sword ready while Z target, you can jump attack by pressing A. A jump attack does double damage. Huh, that might come in handy later. You can use that target on the stone here next to me, so let's practice. Okay, Z target this thing, and then jump backwards. Do both steps. Get a sword. Oh, no, okay. Oh, that's not what I blame him later. Okay. Oops, I don't want to target him. Okay, sword out. And jump attack! Oh, wait, I forgot to, um... Yes. No, I can't do it, but it just... Yeah. Unside target. Okay, like so. I target him. Because we forgot... Oops. We forgot to roll through it, so... I just thought I'd show that off quickly. Because it's an easy way to get rubies, as you just said. And I just need... One more, and then I can do Rupees! Rupees! Come on, Rupees! Thank you! And then we just jump across this, like so, get five rupees, and we got enough! So let's talk to this guy. Hi, Harry Tam, look this way! Look over here, press Z Hugger and talk to me while pressing A. Speak. Yes, yes. That's how you use a fairy. It's so great that you finally showed a fairy partner. I'll teach you how to talk to people by using the fa your fairy. When a fairy flickers near a person or thing, press Z to look at that direction. If you use their target, you can talk to people from a distance, like we're doing now. When you have nothing you can target, press Z and just look forward. Try it! Nah, we can do it later. But not right now, because we want to talk to this person. This shop, it sells things to you. You can get in for free. <laughs> do you know how to use a deco shield? <laughs> When you get the shield, press the start card to get the sub subscription. Subscreen. Select the clip section and press Z or R. On the clip screen, choose an item when you want to equip and press A to equip that item. Once you equip it, you can hold it with R and press chin to change with analogs. Okay, let's buy this shield and then end the episode. Shield. 
you got the deco shoes. Press R to crouch and defend. If you press R while targeting, you can move them while defending. Would you like to buy anything else? No. So I'll quickly equip, equip this, and then I suppose we should call this episode quits. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I know it's me basically just messing about, but... I still hope you enjoyed it, and uh, see you in the next episode when we will finally get Marco to let us in to talk to the Great Deco Tree. See you then!